Hello everyone! I'm coming at you today with an unboxing video. I recently purchased something very nice, I hope, uh, on eBay and I um, actually it is something that I kind of collect. I don't know if I should say that but then it's something vintage and I'm very excited to open the box so let's do it together. Um, I bought it like last week and because I live in Hong Kong the shipping takes forever and um, the sh like eBay shipping is always very slow so it goes to like different uh, states before it reaches Hong Kong and the tracking is not very accurate like this morning when I tracked it it was still in Indianapolis uh, but then I arrived like it arrived um, like a couple hours ago so that's why it's not very reliable and not very accurate so uh, anyways I'm glad that it's here so here it is and it's something soft let me get rid of the box and as you can see it looks like this okay and here it is it is a chanel jacket it is a chanel tweed jacket um with denim and some other things um so it's kind of it's quite special because it's 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 kind of rare to have denim denim tweed this is my sixth um chanel tweed jacket i love them and because i have my chanel tweed jackets i stop buying other jackets so i guess it's all right i can justify my purpose and uh, uh, justify my purchase and they come with like extra buttons and extra thread and tweed pieces and things like that so it all comes and and they don't all come with this but then this particular one comes with all these things so um i think in case i have to re repair have it repaired i'll bring this to chanel um and it, this might be helpful so and then this is actually if you look at the tag it says chanel um and then it says o3p uh, meaning it's uh, 2003 collection spring summer collection and the size is 38 and uh, here is the rest you can see the material and everything and then uh, another distinctive feature is the chain on the bottom and this one is silver and um, it looks pretty new it doesn't look like it's been worn to death um, and I could see it from the pictures because the seller provide did really uh, clear pictures and the close-up and everything so it was very nice and clear and then um, there is a, a like there are two pockets actually three pockets so two and then there's one pocket uh, oh I thought <laughs> For one second I thought the button was missing but then it's not because it was just unbuttoned so two pockets with buttons and then one pocket without yeah and then um, there's like a single button closure and so and then the lining is kind of like a blue lining and you can see the camellia at the back like that and then um, Here's the sleeve. It's a zipper closure. So it's like this. Normally, the ones that I have have like button closure, but this one has zipper closure. I think uh, they want it to look a little bit more casual. That's why I don't mind really uh, because I really like this color. Although it's denim, but it's not like really, really clear unless you go very close. So I can wear it like I can use it as like a grayish brown blue jacket. And I can actually wear it to work even though it's denim. So here's the back. There's nothing much to it. Yeah, so um, the, 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 the sleeves and everything. And you can see like there's some darker colors and some lighter ones to give it a nice shade. And um, 
I think the original shoulder pad is still there. Uh, what I do is, uh, I every time I buy vintage Chanel, I would take it to the uh, Chanel boutique and I'll ask them to kind of alter it like here and there like a little bit. Now the reason for that is, uh, first of all, it's free to get alterations. So I always, like if there's shoulder pad, I'll always take out the shoulder pads because it's kind of old school to have shoulder pads. Um, and my shoulders are quite wide, so with the shoulder pad, it will look a bit too much. So I always have the shoulder back pads taken out. And uh, sometimes I will alter it, like have it altered, like um, bring the shoulders in a little bit. Um, it depends. So I still need to try it on to see because it depends on the style. So even though it's 38, I might still fit. Normally I wear a 36 and most of my Chanel jackets are 36, but this one is 38 and I, I have one that's 38 and I had it altered. So it, they did. They, they do a great job. So I'm not. I'm never worried. Um, another thing, which is like the most important thing, is they like by taking it over to a Chanel jacket, and if they accept the alteration order, uh, that means like they authenticate it. That means like it's a real Chanel jacket. So killing two birds with one stone, you get free alteration as well as. Uh, peace of mind to know that your jacket is real. So I highly recommend it if you uh, buy any like Chanel jackets online. Um, if you want to authenticate it, even though it like it looks authentic, I think it's just a peace of mind. Just take it over and you know see if they can all take something out or you know alter a little bit. And if they're willing to do so, that means like you you have an authentic. Uh, Chanel jacket and so that's my trick to it and then one more thing uh, in Hong Kong what happens is like if you bring the Chanel jacket just like this and just put just put it in a, um, a bag when they return they'll give you a Chanel um, hanger I'll show you it I'll take it right now hold on a second Sorry for the wait. And oh, I just moved. Sorry. Here it is. So they give you like the velvet feel, but not real velvet. Um, hanger with like the gold CC. Like it's like the gold hanger. It's like free. It comes with the alteration. And you know, I see people buying these, like selling these on eBay for like a couple, like. 20, 30, like $50. You don't need really to do that. If you have a Chanel jacket, just bring it over and have it altered. And then make sure you don't bring your own, um, make sure you don't bring your own hanger. Because the first time I took my Chanel jacket over, I took my own hanger, like it was like same style, but then it's like a, like a random brand. And then they came back with the, the original uh, hanger, of course, right? And then my friends were like, why, like, why, why, why is it like that? And I was like, I was like, I don't know. Like, are they supposed like, will they give you a, a Chanel uh, hanger? I was like, I don't know. And so then the next time I bought like two other ones, and I deliberately uh, took out the hangers, and then uh, they gave me the hangers, and I was so happy. And even uh, that time, because like the first one, I I did not like they didn't give me a hanger, right? So then. Uh, the second time I took two and they gave me two hangers for the two that I took over and then I asked them for an extra hanger and they gave it to us So like the, the sales associate in Chanel, they were so nice and they wouldn't push you like even though they know that you're here for the free service Like they they're not gonna push you to buy things I think it depends on the sales associate, but then for so far I, I never stick to the same sales associate so so far like none of them asked me to, like try to ask me to buy something or try to sell me anything so i i really appreciate them i guess because like the jackets are so expensive that it comes in a package you kind of have to uh provide the service but then i mean like they don't have to if you go to an airmass you know they probably think that you're you know begging them for the service or anything or of course they would not do anything for your charge so anyway that's that's what i like about chanel and um I, I love MS bags, but I love Chanel jackets. And so maybe later I'll do a haul or like a pairing or something like that for this jacket. And um, if you want to see me uh, pair this with my outfits, uh, please check out my OOTD. I'll definitely wear this very, very soon. I might just take it for alteration first, like it might take a week or so. And so maybe um, there could be like a little bit of a wait before I can upload outfits on, um, 
Pinterest. But anyways, you know, um, I'm very happy that about this purchase, and it's like very substantial, very nice material. It feels very new. It doesn't feel like it's like too soft. So I'm very happy. And uh, this is my sixth Chanel jacket, and I think I'm gonna continue to buy it. And as for price, like you know, like now they're selling it, even though they've uh, reduced the price a little bit. Um, it's kind of expensive still. So like a regular jacket like this will probably cost like uh four to five thousand dollars usd but this is like less than a thousand no it's like less than like it's like 600 something usd i bought from ebay so do do check them out like keep checking and and i noticed that like recently they they do a lot of price reduction so i guess you know like they were too ambitious in the beginning with pricing and then now they're trying to reduce the price and and it has become a trend because like whoever drops the price they will sell the item so i guess like they keep an eye on the other sellers items too so that's why it's like i see a lot of price reduction but then sometimes the, uh, the sizes are not right and then and also like uh i think after like a certain year they stop telling you uh, what year so they stop showing this part so you can't see what year is from and which season and i don't like that uh, the slightly older ones uh, show this so whenever I buy Chanel I need everything like the whole package like for for this one it doesn't matter like this is like the first ever time I get this so I don't really like mind if I don't have this but then this has to be there I have to see the year have to see the season and like this whole thing because some people I don't know why like some are cut off I, I don't know I know for sure they all come with this or a written version if it's old enough but um, I don't know why some people would just cut this part uh, so I would never buy uh, that because I think it's kind of incomplete and on the side on the left hand side you see this right it's always on the left you know uh, the wash tag and everything uh, so you know so just make sure that everything is there uh, before you go ahead and buy them. I don't know if they sell fakes, but I've seen fakes um, sold In some stores in Hong Kong, they claim that it's Chanel, but like they they claim that it's fake, right? But then yeah, they kind of look Right, but then of course they're not legit, right? So yeah, so there are some fake ones out there So just be careful and what I do is I always go to like when I see the pictures, right? So I'll just go online like Google the image and find 2013 spring summer and I'll try to look at the fashion show If not the pictures and I'll try to see if I can find this and I actually saw this exact one on the model in uh, the fashion show So I was really happy. So I found uh, the image and the fashion show image and like the real fashion show like the model walking in this jacket before I go ahead with the purchase and and uh, if and also I look, I look at the buttons because for each season they only come up with one button they may change the color but then the, the style is the same so you know this is how you can kind of preliminarily um, authenticate it yourself so this is what I do but anyways, I'm very excited and so please check out my OOTD if you want to see my pairing and I'll see you again next time. Bye!